When Republicans talk about family values, they don't mean all families are valued. LGBTQIA families aren't, as they start using God as a way to justify legally discriminating against us. Black families aren't valued, as sons and fathers, mothers and daughters are murdered and abused by the very justice system that claims to serve and protect. Indigenous families aren't valued, as their lives, opportunities, culture, and lands continue to be stolen to this day. And immigrant families aren't valued. We are treated like livestock. When the country's founders wrote, all men are created equal, they meant white, wealthy, landowning males. And when Republicans talk about family values, they mean they're white, heteronormative families and no one else's. The conservative majority in the Supreme Court may rule against DACA and claim that my life and my family are unworthy of this land. But my family has value. And what moral authority does the Supreme Court actually hold? The same court that once found black people in this country were less than fully human? So the fight for indigenous rights is ongoing. The fight for civil rights is ongoing. The fight for LGBT LGBTQIA rights is ongoing. The fight for women's rights is ongoing. And the fight for immigrant rights is too ongoing. And I, for one, stand proud to walk in the footsteps of so many women and men of color and white alike who consume their bodies and lives for freedom. I am ready to be consumed in order to light that fire on Lady Liberty's torch, because if not, I'll be consumed watching my liberties be taken away. And fighting against forces that dehumanize and exploit your family, that is family values in action. America, take note.